What's going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you guys a comparison between arguably the two strongest balls in our current line, the Forge Flare and the Alpha Jackal. Which one is stronger? Stay tuned after the intro to find out. So the Alpha Jackal and the Forge Flare are the two strongest balls in Motive's current ball chart. In this video, we're gonna break down each ball individually to figure out what the differences are and what some of the similarities are. And by the end of the video, hopefully you can decide for yourself if you'd like to add that Forge Flare in the mix with your Alpha Jackal when it comes out on December 9th. If you're new to my channel and like the content that you're seeing, I would super appreciate if you hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date every time I drop a new video. And if you like this jersey or any of the jerseys in any of my videos, you can head on over to logoinfusion.com, use my promo code LEWIS, and that'll get you 20% off your entire order. All right, so we'll start with the Alpha Jackal. The Alpha Jackal has the Predator V2 core, which has an RG of 2.47, a differential of 0.054, and an intermediate differential of 0.015 in 15 pounds. So what that means for the Alpha is that it's going to want to get into a roll very early because of that low RG, and that, that, then that differential being so high, the ball's going to flare a considerable amount. So wrapped around that Predator V2 core is the Coercion HV3 solid reactive cover that comes out of the box at a 2000 grit laser scan sand. So they paired a very strong core with a very strong cover. The Alpha Jackal likes to dig in the oil very hard and it is best suited for the heavy oil conditions. The layout on my Alpha Jackal is 70 by four and a half by 30. Now for me, the Alpha Jackal, because it's paired with such a strong cover and such a strong core, it is best for me when I can keep my angles a little bit more shut down and keep them a little bit more in front of me. And let me just tell you that before the Forge Flare came out, the Alpha Jackal was the strongest ball that I had ever thrown. So then let's talk about the Forge Flare. The Forge Flare has the detonator weight block, which has an RG of 2.47 and a differential of 0.055. Pretty similar numbers to that Alpha Jackal, except for this one is symmetrical core, where the Alpha Jackal was an asymmetrical core. The layout on my Forge Flare is 50 by 5 by 20. The cover that's wrapped around that detonator weight block is the Coercion MXC solid reactive cover that comes out of box at a 2000 grit laser scan sand. In this video, both the Alpha Jackal and the Forge Flare are finished at a 2000 grit. So the Alpha Jackal and the Forge Flare have the same base formula for their covers being that coercion. But whatever they added into that cover of the Forge Flare, it is insane. It is every bit as early as the Alpha Jackal, but it continues significantly more. I have never seen a bowling ball that is so early and shapes as much down lane. Now, in this video, I don't want you guys to think that I hate the Alpha Jackal by any means. I love the Alpha Jackal, but what this Forge Flare does on the lane is truly special. Let me know down below in the comments if you have an Alpha Jackal and if you're considering ordering a Forge Flare when it comes out on December 9th. I'm gonna take you guys on the lanes now so you can see both of these bowling balls side by side. Thank you guys for joining me for this in-depth comparison between the Forge Flare and the Alpha Jackal. Now, as always, I'm going to show you every single shot that I threw in this session, the good shots and the bad. It is all too easy to make any ball look absolutely amazing if all I do is show you the good shots. So with that out of the way, let's talk a little bit about this Forge Flare and the Alpha Jackal. What makes them unique? So the Alpha Jackal has that asymmetrical Predator V2 core, which is a very strong, very early, very forward rolling bowling ball. Now, what I mean by forward rolling is that the Alpha Jackal doesn't shape a lot down lane. It wants to get into a roll very early and then roll very forward. That is really good on the long patterns and it's also very good on the short patterns where you don't want the ball to over jump off the spot. Now the Forge Flare is, in my opinion, the most interesting and the most unique solid bowling ball I have ever thrown. It is every bit as early as the Alpha Jackal, as you guys can see in the video, but it wants to shape down lane more than any ball that is that early. Now I've said that there are other bowling balls that are as early as the Forge Flare, but not one of them shapes as much down lane as this Flare. So because of that, its usability factor is through the roof. I love throwing this Alpha Jackal, but the problem for me is that as I get too steep with my feet, meaning creating more angle through the fronts, its usability becomes less and less because it doesn't want to come around the corner. So an issue that I've ran into in the past with the Alpha Jackal, especially in league, 
is that it looks amazing, for example, game one, but then once I have to transition out of it, I have to make a guess as to what ball change I'm going to make. With this Forge Flare, on the fresh, it is as early as the Alpha Jackal, but it wants to continue down lane. So because of that, I can use it into game two, use it into game three, use it into game four. It's a ball that as I get further left, as long as there's enough volume in the middle, I can continue to throw this ball, you know, game in and game out. I have had this Forge Flare for four weeks now in league and I bowl in a four game league and I have not made one ball change in 16 games since having this Forge Flare. To me, that is absolutely impressive and absolutely insane. Now, like I said before, I don't want you guys to think that I'm bashing the Alpha Jackal. In all honesty, the Alpha Jackal is one of my favorite bowling balls that Motive has ever made. The ball is what it is. It is a strong, early rolling bowling ball that doesn't continue a ton down lane, and that's okay. There are plenty of situations where that is the exact ball motion that you're looking for. But in this video, we are comparing the Alpha Jackal to the Forge Flare. And the biggest, most glaring difference that I notice between throwing the Forge Flare and the Alpha Jackal is just how much more continuation the Forge Flare produces down lane than the Alpha Jackal. Now, one question that has come up a lot recently between these two bowling balls is if they are different enough to warrant having both of them in the bag. Now, the short answer is yes. The Forge Flare does something down lane that the Alpha, ja uh, that the Alpha Jackal simply does not. Now, if you're planning having both of these bowling balls in the bag for the same tournament or same league, you better have enough oil in the middle part of the lane. I think that starting with something like the Alpha Jackal with the out of box finish being that 2000 grit would be a very good option from the straighter angles. And then as you have to creep left or creep into the pattern, something like the Forge Flare with like a three or 4000 grit surface would be a very good option because you know that it's going to produce a similar motion to the Alpha Jackal up front but down lane is gonna create that motion that the Alpha Jackal just cannot. Now let's talk about some of the situations where I can see myself throwing each of these bowling balls. All right, so the Alpha Jackal, I would consider throwing on the very short patterns where you want the ball to use up all its energy up front and not shape a ton down lane. That would be a amazing option for the Alpha Jackal. And then another option for the Alpha Jackal is if you're bowling on a longer pattern that has a lot of friction to the outside where again, you don't need the ball to really jump off the spot. You need it to be, be just very smooth and continuous throughout the lane. Now the Forge Flare, pretty much in every other situation. If you're bowling on maybe even a short pattern where there isn't a ton of friction or maybe into like game three, game four of a short oil pattern where the oil has pushed down, the Forge Flare would be a really good option. And then on those long patterns where there isn't a ton of friction down lane, I think it would be a very good option over the Alpha Jackal. The USBC Open Championships are pretty much right around the corner. Comment down below and let me know if you're going to be attending this year's tournament and what your arsenal is going to look like. Now, preliminary thoughts are that both the Alpha Jackal and the Forge Flare are going to make my list of balls that I'm going to take. Now, obviously I'll know more as I get to bowl on last year's pattern, just to have an idea of what sort of bowling balls I'm going to take. And then obviously I'm going to make a video with my final six ball arsenal on last year's singles and doubles, as well as team pattern. When it comes to building an arsenal for the open championships, I like to take bowling balls that are extremely versatile, that can do several things or balls that are very good at that one thing. So as an example, the Forge Flare would be in that category of a ball that can do multiple things. It can be super early and then it'll shape down lane. So it'll be a good game one ball or a good game three, game four, game five ball into that singles and doubles. And then something like the Alpha Jackal would be a prime example of something that's really good at that one thing. If I need that hook stop motion at any point in the tournament, the Alpha Jack will be a very good option. I'm working on the surface video for the Fatal Venom that I did with Andrew, so be on the lookout when that one drops very soon. After that one, I'll work on the surface video for the Forge Flare as well. Well, there you have it, folks. There's my in-depth comparison between the Alpha Jackal and the Forge Flare. Let me know down below in the comments what you thought about this video, and if you want to see more comparisons like this in the future. Click right here to watch one of my older videos. Click right here to subscribe. Till next time, guys.